all right friends so on this video this one's gonna be short and sweet we got the bx23s with the la340 bucket and the bt603 backo with the largest bucket they make which is the 16 inch i believe and today we're going to be pulling out some smaller tree stumps so again we have the bx23 and the bucket we're going to be pulling tree stumps out we're going to use the ripper tool as well and we're going to compare which one does the best all right let's put it down on time lapse and get to it all right that was actually pretty fast um less than probably a minute or two but we got the stump out so this is the hole that we have in comparison to the tractor this will easily be filled back in. So we're gonna try to find another stump and dig it out. Actually, we have one right here. It's right here next to the tractor. All right, so that stumps out. That took literally probably two minutes too as well. It's not typical, but you can see got uh, most of the root out. A little note on this one, it would have been nicer to have the hook, most likely the reverse hook. So I could have hooked into part of this stump and pulled it out backwards, but it is what it is. So the hole we have is probably a foot by three foot. This one was actually pretty easy uh, to get out, you'll notice when they're doing the stumps you have to kind of dig onto the sides get them in that way so this is the be expanded ripper tool from be expanded and for reference i didn't really mention this before both times we were only running at two and a half on our 2500 on the rpms that makes a huge difference in the power uh, so I wanted to create a nice baseline at 2,500. So that's what we're going to be running this as. You can see just earlier, I could have used this reverse hook here. And this thing is meaty, boy, let me tell you that. But uh, all right, I think we're ready to go. Start ripping this stump out, and then we're going to move down to the next stump. all right so that was actually really fast um i would venture to bet it was bet or faster than the bucket for sure and i don't know if you guys could tell but this is the tree stump that we've taken out and that is the hole significantly less dirt taken out than with the bucket and after a few good whacks i'll be able to get a lot more of the dirt out of this. Let's try to get this other one out here. All right, so trying to be fair and unbiased as possible, the one stump over there was uh, halfway rotted, so that one came out really easy. However, this stump right here uh, is actually bigger, I'd say on par, there's this one. And then the other stump that was taken out that's over there. The holes that this created is nowhere near the holes of the other stumps dug out with the bucket. As far as time, well, I'd say they're actually relatively pretty close. The ripper tool did finish off pretty, pretty quick. I probably actually had a true minute in ripping that one out when two minutes with the bucket but that's not always the case. Some of these roots get pretty big and sometimes you have to really reach out on the sides of the, the tree stump to work. This ripper tool is gonna to be awesome for little stumps like this. Uh, there's one that's relatively the same, but we got a whole bunch of these little ones that we can just cruise and start ripping these things out. I'm super excited. So if, this, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We got a lot more BX stuff going on. 
and I'm gonna be using that ripper tool a lot more. This area that we're actually working in is one of the projects I talked about in one of the previous videos where it's gonna be a campground. So this is project number two. Project number one, we've created the trail that comes in on the backside of the cabin. So we're just cleaning this area up. 